Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can unhide sheets programmatically. Now if you right click on any of the sheets and choose to unhide, you'll see that I've got my calc sheets in here. Now we have to go through and manually do each one, yeah? So in the absence of a button that does it inside of the unhide sheets area, we have to do it programmatically. If we've got a bunch of, say, important sheets hidden and we want to sort of batch bring them into the worksheet so we can work on the file. So we press Alt F11 to go in the back end and then we'll insert a module. And I'm going to give this module a name, MDL, short for module, and I'm going to call it Unhide. Nice. And now we just create the procedure. So we'll call it Sub Unhide. And what we're going to do is we're going to declare a worksheet. So I'll dim sh as a worksheet. And now we just need a looping construct using this variable for a worksheet. So we'll say for each, each sh in sheets. And then we'll go next sh. Now this is the area where the magic happens. If you watch my videos, I mentioned that a lot. So you create your looping construct and this is where action happens. So we'll say sheet, so SH short for the sheet, and then we'll say visible is equal to true. All right, good stuff. So that should make all of the sheets visible. I'll just minimize this guy And we'll see what's happening in front of our eyes. Let's have a look. Okay, so now we can see the sheets. So we can run through it using the F8 button. So let's run through the procedure and see what happens. So we'll run through, run through, until it actually hits a sheet. It goes through all of the sheets inside the module. Once it starts hitting the ones that are actually hidden, it'll start to unhide them. And you see the green sheets growing across the bottom. So as we hit, it it goes through the sheet process in real time uh, very, very quickly. So if I was to hide all the green sheets again, there's really no need to have like an unhide, a hide button in this circumstance because uh, we can do it so quickly by just by right clicking and then uh, hiding them in one fell swoop. So we'll go back and try it again and we'll run it in real time. So if we just put our cursor in the module, we can either hit this button or press F5. I usually use the shortcut keys, so, but I'll press the button so you can see it. So I'll go click, and there you go. The sheets come back instantly. So that's effectively how you hide, or un, sorry, unhide sheets in one fell swoop. Now, what if we wanted to unhide specific sheets so if we were looking to unhide, uh, let me just minimize this. Let's say, I'll move you across. Let's say we wanted to unhide just these two sheets here. I might make them a different color so you can sort of verify them very easily. So let's hide them. Piv one and piv two, piv and piv two. So Alt F11 and I'll just maximize this. Okay, uh, oh dear, that disappeared quickly. Okay, all right, technical issue. Okay, all right, so let's just make a copy of this procedure and I'll get rid of this and then we'll call it unhide to here. And then, actually, I don't need any of this. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'll say, firstly, we're gonna dim i as an integer, yeah? And we're gonna loop through i, <laughs> integer, yeah? And then we're gonna dim ar as a storage device and that's gonna be as a variant. Okay, now we want to set up a looping construct that loops through an array, yeah? So the array is going to be equal to the name of the two sheets, piv and piv2. So we set up our array, so it's square bracket, squiggly bracket. Oh, that's not good. I'll just get rid of that. Oh dear. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Oh dear. I'll start again. Okay, so square bracket, squiggly bracket, and then it's open quotation mark, P-I-V, close quotation mark, comma, 
and open quotation mark PIV to close quotation mark squiggly bracket and square bracket. I always get the squiggly bracket, the square bracket. I always mistype one or, one or the other. But anyway, um, you always get there in the end. Now, what I want to do is set up a looping construct. So I want to say for I, now I want to go from the good part about setting up an array so it's set up like this rather than saying array at the start is that it will start the array at one yeah it saves me typing option base one at the start of the code so for i equals one to the upper bound of the array yeah upper bound of the array now when you set up a loop you end it quickly because if you're like me you forget after you've written the code so you open the loop close the loop straight away and that's typing in the next line immediately okay so basically what we want to do here is we want to say sheets yeah and then we want to say ar open bracket i so the first sheet in the first instance close brackets a couple of times one's for the sheets the other one's for the array and then we say dot visible is equal to true now we should be able to trap these guys this one and this one uh, with that specific line of code. So let's have a look at how that looks, yeah? So we'll press F8 and F8. It's pushed the information into the array. So we can say view, let's have a look. Locals window, the array, PIV1, PIV2. Notice it starts at one. So my loop is gonna go from one to two. So it's gonna go from one to two, one to two. And then make it visible, and it should appear down here. So we'll press F8, there it is there, and then F8 again. So there you go, peeps. That's how you get all of the worksheets in the workbook to be visible, and just specific ones in the worksheet to be visible as well. So hope it helped, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.